What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. As y'all can tell by the title, this is gonna be a video on how to really stand on business. Cause people be talking about they standing on business, they standing on business, we standing on business, you standing on business, standing on business, standing on business, and y'all ain't standing on sh. Y'all ain't standing on nothing. So this video is gonna teach you how to really, really, really stand on business, you guys. I made a video basically saying, you know, how I, you know, took myself out the dating pool. I haven't been, you know, dating men. I haven't been, I haven't been dating women either. Let's clarify that. I hadn't been dating and I just been kind of focused on myself. I'm gonna jump straight into it. The first thing you have to do in order to really stand on business is you have to, and I mean y'all please, you have to learn how to focus on yourself. When you are in a relationship or in a situation with someone, y'all are pretty much, like it's not always about you. When you're, you know, dating someone, it's not always about you. So you have to take that person's feelings into consideration. So the problem comes in where a lot of people do not, you know, heal and take the time to really know themselves so they don't know how to focus on themselves so what happens is they become so consumed with the person that they're dating and that kind of overshadows that self-love and i know we always speak about self-love 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 but that is really the key to really standing on business when you love yourself and you know yourself and you know you're not going for nothing you're not putting up with anything like you you standing on business like that's that's really standing on business but that comes from getting to know yourselves and getting to you know be in that space of you know healing a lot of people don't really know how to to take a step back and just say hey i gotta focus on myself so of course they're not standing on business because they get that text message and guess what they're gonna go straight on to who the business that they supposed to be standing on like no you got to, to stand on business, you have to understand what's going to come with it. Because I haven't been dating, haven't been, you know, sexually active in two years, you guys. It has literally been that. Like, I don't care who believes me or not. I know me. I know my body. And um, it's it does get lonely. I'm not going to hold you. It does. But you really have to take the good with the bad because... Yeah, okay, the bad part is, yeah, you lonely, sometimes single, but the good thing is, like, and I just made this this post, I'm gonna read it to y'all. I said, I really wish women could feel how I feel, though, at least once, at peace. No stressing me, nobody coming to me as a woman, nobody embarrassing me, nobody bringing me down, nobody making me feel like love is one-sided. If you ain't there, trust me, you will be there soon and it's going to be worth it. A lot of people don't see the benefits in standing on business. All they see is, oh, I'm not dealing with him no more. Oh, I'm not dealing with her no more. Oh, I'm not, I'm lonely. That's the part that they're focused on. They're focused on the negative aspects of really standing on business. But, and that leads me to my second point, standing on business, you cannot look at standing on business as being negative, okay? Standing on business is, is you really gaining your power back, is you stepping into your authority. You cannot look at something like that as negative. A lot of people think like, oh, I gotta stand on business, I gotta, I gotta cut them off, and that's just the end all be all, but that's not really what it is. You standing on business, you're gaining your power back. You're saying, hey, this is who I am. This is what I'm willing to put up with. This is what I'm not willing to put up with. You can either take it or leave it and, and, and go. And you're going to stand on that. It's not to say when you stand on business, you can't ever talk to that person again. You can't ever be with them. It's just that you have to have some respect about yourself. Standing on business basically means that you're respecting yourself. I don't really like talking about um, hot topics, but let's just take what we see in the media today with some of the guys who have repeatedly, we've seen them repeatedly cheat on their women. And guess what those women do? They stay with them because of the kids, because of the family, because of the look, because of the money, because of the gifts, because of this, that, and the third, you're you're not respecting yourself. And and I was once, a, you know, a, a, a dummy. You know, we've all been done for a guy before. We we all have. But the thing is, the thing is, you have to get out of that. Like, they're not going to change. I'm telling y'all, I don't care how many sad sob stories, how many times they say they're gonna do better. They're not going to change. I remember 
And I'ma always bring this up because, you know, I was in like a little situation ship in high school and and even though that wasn't like a real, real relationship, I learned so much in that situation because I actually had the guy actually tell me one time, he said, he looked at me and said, you're gullible. I said, what you mean? He was like, I keep doing stuff and I keep cheating on you because you allow me to. You're going to always be here. And guess what? I was always there. Every time he would do something, every time I would find some something out, guess what? I'd be mad at him for a little bit. But then, you know, I, I stand on my business for a little bit. But then after I stop standing on business, guess what I'm doing? I'm texting him again. I'm linking with him again. And he's going to do it again. Life is all about lessons. Some people just learn quicker than others. And I was one to really catch on to the game very early on and very quickly. So now it's like, okay, I know myself. I know what I'm not putting up with. And I'm standing on business in all aspects of my life. Like... You cannot come in my space thinking we finna be together and you're a cheater. You can't come in my space thinking you finna be with me and you're not respecting me. I'm not gonna lie, when I see certain women constantly going back to men that's doing them wrong, my first thing I think of is, oh yeah, you don't respect yourself. Or not even that you don't respect yourself, you don't know yourself. You don't know your worth, ma'am. I really wish women would look like 2024 women, we gotta gain our power back. Because we hold so much power. Like, we have the ability to produce a life. Like, women are so powerful. But when y'all do dumb stuff, like constantly going back to these men repeatedly, 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 after they're constantly showing you what it is. I know it's cute to say, oh, I'm standing on business. But, you know, you, you saying that you making your posts. But be real with yourself. You ain't got to prove none to us. You making a post talking about you standing on business. Guess what you doing? Behind behind closed doors, you really linking with that dude. And guess what you do? You don't tell your friends and your family you really seeing him. Yep, I just clocked some of y'all too. Mm-hmm. I just clocked it. I know, I know I can say this because I've been that girl before. Like, again, I just got mine when I was very young. And I just picked up and learned very quickly. So now it's to the point where, hey... Hey, ain't no nigga finna come play in my face again. I'm sorry. They ain't coming to play in my face again. That's just, that ain't, that ain't going like that. You got to understand, to really stand on business, you have to gain your power. You have to know yourself. And I'm going to tell y'all something. And I just, and me and my friend, we made a video talking about stop being boy crazy. Y'all do got to stop being boy crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it to y'all real. I don't care what y'all say. I am a girl's girl. But just because I don't subscribe to some of the things that y'all normalize, it does not mean I am not a girl's girl. It's just, no, I learned, learned from certain mistakes and I have respect for myself. So I know how to move in further situations. Y'all have to stop being boy crazy. Y'all have to stop thinking that y'all, that y'all lives revolve around these men because they're they don't it's just real talk when you really stand on business you ain't answering his calls you ain't answering his text messages he trying to take you out he trying to link you you ain't linking guess what he gonna do he's gonna do one or two things one or two things he's gonna step up to the plate and be like nah i, ain't, I don't like this let me get my act together like let me get my act together or he gonna be like, nah, she tripping. I'm finna go dip off with the next girl. And I'm gonna tell you, if he one that's gonna do that second option, that second thing, you already know where to keep him. You gotta let him go. You gotta let him go. So it's just to show boundaries. That's my third point. Set boundaries with these men. Stop letting these men walk all over y'all. Like, y'all have to stop. I be like, dang. I be seeing some people and I be like, dang, she is too pretty to be going through that. Like... I know she could be in a better situation and not even just saying like, oh, like don't mess with him. Don't talk to him, but, but stand on, stand on business, set those boundaries. If you know for a fact, you don't like your man to cheat, but you know, you with a cheater, but you trying to make it work because society says, oh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him cheat one time and I'm gonna take him back and stuff. And all these girls taking their man back because they still providing the money and stuff like that. That's another thing. Set them boundaries and stop thinking everything revolves around money because it don't. Just because that man got some bread and he's spending on you, he doing what he got to do. But the minute he cheat, you going to get mad. But guess what you're going to do? You're going to take him back. And guess what he, he going to do? He's going to keep doing it again, 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 again. Set those boundaries. If you know you don't like a man that cheat, just be upfront about it. Babe, I don't, I don't like no cheater. Like, 
I don't. You, that really should come out your mouth in the in the beginning. I have a zero zero tolerance for cheating because when I'm dating or just like you know like you know how like when you're talking to someone y'all in that talking stage y'all just kind of dating it ain't official but it's it's kind of getting there you know y'all linking whoop 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 during that time period I'm not on you I'm not like you know all in your ear trying to tell you to be loyal to me because we're not together so during that window that we have before we start being boyfriend or girlfriend figure it out i let a man figure it out not saying i'm gonna sit here and wait on a man either though but during that time i give him some time to figure it out but when he asks me to be his girlfriend when he chooses me he's supposed to choose me and me only it's no tasty backsies Okay, you cannot take that back. Once you say, will you be my girlfriend? And I say, yes, that's it. That's it. That, 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 that's it. I'm miss one and done, baby. Miss one and done. I'm not taking back no man that cheats. Why? Because I know he's going to do it again. I do believe um, in mistakes. I do believe in second chances. But here's the thing. Even if I was to take somebody back after they cheated on me, trust and believe I'm going to be standing on business for a long time. And he gonna really have to step up to the plate if that's the case. And that's my thing too. If y'all are gonna be the type of people that take people back after cheating, really stand on that. Like really like make them step up to the plate and change their ways. A lot of y'all uh, probably stop talking and then y'all go do y'all dirt. Y'all get y'all lit back in silence. Cause let's just be real. I'm, I'm, let me let me shut up. Let me shut up. I don't wanna give too much sauce. But let's just be real. We we know what be going on. We we know what's going on. Y'all go and do that, right? And y'all feel like, oh, okay, well, I got my lid back and he don't know. So I stood on my business and guess what? You gonna be right back with him. But really, in actuality, you ain't even give him time to really change his ways to really show why he need to really step up to the plate and why not? Why he not gonna play with you. So because you thought you was getting your get back by doing your dirt in silence and you not giving him the chance to step up to the plate, he's definitely, most definitely gonna do it again. Most definitely. Most definitely. But if you really set those bands, like let's say, let's say a guy do cheat on you. Let's say you do cheat. And you're like, man, I really love him. I'm willing to work it out. If you're willing to work it out, because y'all not married, you know, you kind of are single until you're married. I do believe in that to, to a certain extent. If you do want to take a man back after after he cheats, you gotta give him that time to step it up. You gotta you gotta make him show you and prove to you why he's the cert why he deserves to be in your life. You don't go do your dirt and be like, oh well, I did mine. He ain't gonna know. Mm -hmm, he ain't knowing. Mm -mm. You can't do that and then think that you did something because you really ain't did nothing but played yourself in the end. And caught another body. Like, I'm just... Can I be real? Can, can I be real? Can I be real? So, yes. Set those boundaries. And the last point, but certainly not least. You have to do some self-reflection. Going back into the first point with um, knowing yourself and knowing your worth. But you really, really, really have to do some self-reflection because nine times out of 10, when you're taking somebody back after they're doing your, doing you wrong time after time, that's usually deep-rooted in something else, okay? It's not because you, you know, really even love that person because, of course, you love that person, but you don't love what they're doing. So why do you keep putting yourself through that? It's something that's deep rooted. So you have to kind of go inward and really take the time to learn what, what has caused me to feel like I need this person in my life, even though they're constantly doing me wrong. When I was a child, did I have someone that was always doing me wrong and I thought that that was love? Is that why I'm still, you know, in this predicament? Or could it be... um you know, maybe I don't spend enough time with myself. You know, maybe I've I've been so so dependent on other people and having to be around other people. You know, I had to be around my parents a lot, and then I I get into this relationship, then I get into the next relationship, then I get into the next relationship. Why do I have to? Why am I so scared of being alone? 
Y'all, you have to figure out what's that underlying issue that's keeping you attached to someone who keeps doing you wrong. Understand that it's something within you in you that's broken. Understand that it's something in you that's broken. And it's okay. It's okay to be broken. It's okay. Because a lot of things that are broken can be fixed. You can fix it. You just have to go inward. Do some self-reflection. Know yourself. Know your worth. Stop looking at it as a negative thing. Really take the opportunity to be alone. After you get out of a relationship, take some time out to know yourself and set those boundaries. Get to know yourself because when you really know yourself, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, it's the most peaceful thing ever. Like, I do not regret going on this journey um, with not dating or not talking to men. And every now and then I text men. I'm not going to sit up here and, and say like, oh, I'm just like my, my phone is dry. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'll start texting the guy and I'll be like, mm-mm. Then I just throw, and it makes dating so much more easier. Let me speak on that too. When you know your worth and you know yourself and you really setting those boundaries and you really standing on business for real, it makes your dating life so much more easier. It's to the point to where I can start talking to someone and I'm like, mm-mm. And guess what? I could cut it out right then and there. But sometimes when you don't really know yourself, you tend to kind of give people the benefit of the doubt. And it's like, this is not even really what I want for real. So so you you got to take those take those points and, and, and you have to apply it to your life. Because I'm telling you, standing on business for real is, is just another way of saying, hey, this is me. This is this is who I am. This is what I'm put up with. This is what I'm not gonna put up with. And you really have to be like that in this life because you, people gonna play with you as long as you allow allow them to. People gonna play with you. So that is my little short video on how to really really stand on business. And I hope you guys take these points and really apply it to your lives. I really want to see us women specifically, but the guys too. Make sure y'all stand on business too. You know, this is a channel for everybody. But specifically for my women, make sure you guys understand the importance of really standing on business. It's not about to just say that you're doing it and then you're doing something else behind closed doors. No, it's to really gain your femininity and your power back. OK, because as a woman, we're powerful people. We're very powerful. It's no reason why a man should continuously do you wrong and wrong time after time, time after time, constantly doing you wrong, constantly cheating on you, constantly disrespecting you, constantly abusing you. And you're going back to them. Figure out what it is that's broken in you and fix it. Take some time out. Practice abstinence. Practice abstinence. You don't always have to bust it open. Learn how to keep it closed. Learn how to keep it on lock. Learn how, to, learn how to keep that kitty on lock, baby. If you do get into a position to where you do have to let someone go because they don't respect you enough to treat you how you deserve to be treated, understand when you do let them go, God is going to bless you with someone 10, 20, a million times better than that last person. Let go of what you see that's holding on to you that's, that doesn't mean you will and trust that it's going to be replaced with something better. Okay? So, that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will do more videos like this. So, yeah. Really stand on business and bow, bow, bow. Really, really get to it. We really get to it. We really standing on business. Standing on business. She standing on business. He standing on business. We all need to be standing on business 2024. Let's go. Bye.